Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> well, I eat and eat the broth on my face. But okay, anyway. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. I'm Megan, and today we are bringing you around our favorite hawker stores in Singapore for yet another popular dish, Hokkien Mee. So without further ado, let's go! So today I'm going to show you my favorite Hokkien Mee hawker store. And I think this is a very classic pick. It is at Army Market or Golden Mouth Food Center. And I think when you tell most Singaporeans, I'm looking for the best Hokkien Mee in Singapore, they will point you to Army Market. But I haven't been in a very, very long time. So today I'm going to see whether it still matches up to my childhood memory. Let's go. So I'm here now. And the queue, as always, is super long. But I can already see the setup and it's so nostalgic. She's my lover. Okay, so the wait for this Hokkien Mee was quite long. It was about half an hour, including like the queue and cooking, because like the hawker uncle cooks in a very big batch. What I love about this Hokkien Mee is that it's not too wet, but it's not too dry. Yeah. There's a good amount of saltiness to it, and but the flavour is still very very good. Like, there's that wok hay flavour which is like, a bit burnt almost. And I have my juice with me to complement my very oily wok hay. Hokkien Mee. Okay, let me try the chilli. I remember the chilli is super duper good. Oh yeah, it's very spicy. Mm. There's really quite a pig. It's not like your usual sambal chilli. It's not very sweet. It's actually like, there's a good spicy pig. Okay, let me try the meat. I think the style of this Hokkien Mee dish, right, is really the noodles itself and the flavour of the noodles. And the prawns are alright. And my favourite ingredient in Hokkien Mee is actually the sotong. But um, they were out of sotong today. And the amazing thing is, even though the auntie was saying, okay, there's no more sotong left, everybody was still going ahead and buying the Hokkien Mee. So that's how good it is. It's quite a big serving, but it's also very expensive. It's $5, but I say it's worth the money. The Hokkien Mee is really very good. And I want to come back when they actually have sotong inside the Hokkien Mee as well. So I'm going to finish my very sinful meal. Bye! Okay, so today I'm tasked to show you my favorite Hokkien Mee. Hokkien Mee is hands down my favorite hawker food, so I'm really excited to show you all where my favorite place is. It's not any of like the famous Hokkien Mee, and I've tried like several of them, but this is by far my favorite. I think it's because there's a bit of a nostalgic factor to it. So the, the hawker center that we are at right now is Sembawang Hills Food Center, which is along Upper Thompson Road. So if you are around the area, you can head down here and I'm going to show you where the store is now. Okay, so sorry if the framing is a bit off because I'm by myself right now. I didn't bring a tripod so I put my cameras on my back but this Hokkien Mee is from Changi Village Hokkien Mee here in Samong Hills Food Center. So their prices start from $4 and they go up to I think $8. Here is the $5 portion. They're actually very generous. They give 4 prawns. They have a whole bunch of pork belly and some fried pork lard here. It also comes with a piece of lime. So this Hokkien Mee is a bit of like a mix of the dry and the wet version. So it is a bit wet but also it is not super brothy. So I think a good Hokkien Mee to me has to have three elements. One is that the broth has to be very robust. So you have to be able to taste the prawn and the pork that they used in the broth. And secondly, there has to be at least a little bit of pork okay? And the third is that the ingredients must be fresh. Even if the noodles are good, but if the prawns are not fresh, it can be a little off-putting. So let's try a bite. So this to me is the most balanced Hokkien Mee I've tried. I think one of the more memorable Hokkien Mee I've tried was at Sui Guan. It's true that they have a very strong wok hay flavour, but if you've tried Sui Guan, right, you, you will know that the wok hay actually covers the entire flavour of the noodles, so you can't really taste the broth. But I think this has a good balance. The flavour of noodles here are very robust. It has soaked up the flavours of the broth very well. Might have added a little bit of MSG, but I think it only adds to the flavour of the noodles. Let's try the prawns. I think the prawns here are a bit on the small side, but they are very fresh. So for me, another important aspect of a good Hokkien Mee is that the chilli has to complement the noodles. So it cannot be too spicy, it cannot be too sweet. I think the, the sambal that they provide in this plate of Hokkien Mee really does that very well. But something that I missed is also they actually give some squid. 
which I, I didn't remember they have, but now that I'm eating it, there is squid in this plate of Hokkien Mee as well. And it is very fresh. Okay, um, sorry but I realised that my card ran out of memory while filming, so I'm gonna continue here. You can ask for additional pork lard, which is always a bonus when having such a hearty dish. And yeah, I think for a 4 or $5 plate of Hokkien Mee, this is very worth it. So how I found out about Changi Village Hokkien Mee in Sabong Hills Food Centre is when I was serving my NS in the military working dog unit, we'd always send our dogs to the vet there at Jalan Galanga, which is uh, behind the Hawker Centre. So every time we, we went there, we always tap out like a packet of noodles back to camp. And yeah, we all enjoyed it. Lah. So I've had it a lot of times. So I would say that they are very consistent with their quality. So they actually have two other outlets if I'm not wrong. One in Changi Village Hawker Centre itself and one in Marsling Food Centre. Um, I think out of the three, right, this brunch has like the best Hokkien Mee. So to be honest, I've not tried all the Hokkien Mee in Singapore. I've tried a few famous ones. So far, this is the one that suits my palate the best and I'm really looking forward to trying like more Hokkien Mee and see whether I can find any that can beat this one. Hi, hi! So I am um, really hungry right now and uh, I'm gonna be heading out to grab some dinner with Jess and we like to you know go around the west side right and today I'll be bringing her I'll be introducing her actually to this Hokkien Mee place at CCK302 Food House yeah it's like a humble little coffee shop this place is recommended by my sister who got recommended by her friend yeah and then like end up my family fell in love with this place um, and I really really like the Hokkien Mee here. I'm quite a picky Hokkien Mee eater. I don't like it when it's too dry, I don't like it when it's too wet and it must have like the flavour. If not then like not nice, you know? And also, sorry but I really hate Tao Ge and this place, they don't put Tao Ge so there is a wind! Honestly, I think this happens a lot in Singapore but we do not know Hawker Stall's actual name. So I don't actually know this Hokkien Mee store's name. <laughs> it's just that one Hokkien Mee store in this coffee shop. You know what? I should stop talking. I'ma just go pick Jess up and then we are going to eat Hokkien Mee! Bye! Two hours later. This is Hokkien Mee. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Should we hear? I love how it doesn't have tauge. Oh my god. Do you have two? Yes, 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 yes. So as you can see here, um, you know like the gravy thing. So it's like because it's quite watery, right? So the gravy is like a broth, and I think it's quite like seafood because actually, right, there's like squid, prawns, and then like this is very, very, very tasty. I like the broth because um, you can really taste like like the seafood prawn taste. And that's really nice and I really appreciate a wet Hokkien Mee because to me like the I cannot taste so much of the noodle starch. Because like the dry noodles, right? You always like like the dry kind of Hokkien Mee when you eat too much, right? You start tasting the yellow meat taste. Yeah, but for wet ones, I think um, the flavor of the Hokkien Mee comes out even more. La, so yes! They use gelatin as their chili, not the blended uh, liquidy one. Look at these prawns. They are more than three because I already ate one. This is really one of my favorite Hokkien Mee's because um, I like that, like I like it when it's not so dry and it has like big prawns and it has like all these like pork belly things. Okay, I think it's like you eat a lot, right? You also won't be jelak that kind. Okay, this one is biased, but I really like how there's no tau <laughs> There are some Hokkien Mee's that are always like very jelak because. It's like, after a while it gets very dry, but I think this one right, they really give quite a lot of like the... Like the tzap la! Okay, look at the cha. There are some like bits that are like... You know what I mean? And I think the texture is quite nice because they have like the really thin white noodle. Then they have the yellow mee. And they also have the two mee pen, White one. So that's like three kind of like noodle texture in one. Yeah, and I and I usually come with my family because we all love this. See, I tap out for my dad. Okay, I like it where Hokkien Mee has like a like a wok hay. The wok hay is very important. It must be a bit like cha, like a bit of the cha wok hay taste, right? <laughs> then then it'll be very siang. 
Hi guys, today I'll be introducing my favorite Hokkien Mee stall and it's located in Tampanese and I first found out about it when I moved into this area. It's pretty near my house, like walking distance, which is also why it's my go-to Hokkien Mee place. I think the funny thing is, I think the shop doesn't have a signboard or an official name. Its name is literally its location, which is Tampanese 802 Hokkien Mee, I think. I will be going to um, buy my food now, so let's go. So here I have with me my Hokkien Mee. Woo! Okay, honestly, I'm a very much a proximity person. So this Hokkien Mee store is super near my house. So it's really my go-to uh, store whenever I'm craving for Hokkien Mee. So how I eat my Hokkien Mee is, of course, you need to start by squeezing the lime. Yeah. And then um, I like to take a bite of it, like just to having the original taste without mixing it with the chili first. Okay. Mmm! Mmm! Honestly, I wouldn't say that this is the best Hokkien Mee I've ever tasted but it really gets the job done whenever I'm craving for Hokkien Mee. It has a nice amount of wok hay. The noodles are like al dente and they really soak up the broth well. They also have like squid and then prawns. Actually, after I have my one bite um, of the original, right, I like to mix in the chilli. Actually, honestly, that's my favourite part of this Hokkien Mee. I love their chilli because it's sweet and spicy at the same time. So it has a cake. Can you see the chilli? This is the chilli. Yeah, I like to mix it up into my entire Hokkien Mee. I know there are people who are very against doing that, but I love chilli. So I like to mix it in. <laughs> And like for this stall, right, I think because it's... Oh no! Oh no! Mmm! Yeah, I like to mix it until it becomes this colour. Like a bit of a... Because I love chilli. Oh. So this stall is very popular, I would say, in my neighbourhood. Every single time, right, uh, my family wants to eat this, we have to beat the dinner crowd by going earlier and avoiding a big period because... I tell you... Every single time if we go down after 6pm to buy, right, the queue will be so long. And it's also because they sell other popular dishes like Jian, Olua, and what else. Uh, and they also sell Cai Tao Gui. So they have, it's like really like all the go-to hawker dishes in one stall. So they are super popular. The crowd's always quite intense. Uh, luckily today I didn't have to wait for so long because I only have to buy one Hokkien Mee. But usually if I go right, I will buy like the Ozian is like must order. Okay, let me just eat it one more time for ya. Cheers! Mmm! Yummy! Very yummy. So that's it from all of us. We hope you found it interesting and do tag us at eatbooksg on Instagram or let us know in the comments down below if you try out our recommendations. Oh, and also share with us your favourite Hokkien Mee store in the comments down below because I want to try. And with that, thank you so much for watching this episode of Eatbook Vlogs. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and watch our other videos over there. Bye!